I made this entire video and would you believe I actually had no audio so I'm gonna take this opportunity to wish Stefan Singh a happy happy birthday and also my brother Linda Batiste a happy birthday to you guys I am so sorry that I lost all the audio in this video because mom is interacting dad is interacting Ermin is interacting but nevertheless what happened is that Ermin came by us for a couple of days and she has taken care of this entire family for such a very very long time and you know it is my privilege this morning to make a breakfast for her so i'm going to be doing some bygone and aloo and some saba roti and i hope you guys enjoy this video i'm so sorry that i lost all the audio because i was talking along with the video but nevertheless we are still gonna make the best of it and there's no way that i'm going to throw away all of this audio um all of this video that i made i put so much effort into it so here's the flower here's the bygone and we're gonna get started very very shortly so i hope you enjoyed this video and once again everyone thank you so so much for all the support that you give to my channel i really do appreciate it and hopefully we are going to have ourselves a great breakfast here it did in turn it did actually come out really really well so follow what i'm doing you're not going to regret it guys it was truly truly an amazing dish everybody enjoyed it and we're going to stay tuned and watch how the video progress so i'm getting ready to start the breakfast and just organizing a couple of things here on the counter usually when i'm making roti i use three cups of flour this usually give me two good sala roti and i'm usually left with enough that i can make some fry bakes at a later time so i'm measuring out three cups of flour here yeah shake it up and shake it good that's two and going on to cup number three nice so there we have it three cups of flour of course you could sift your flour if you wish and we're going to go in here with three teaspoons of baking powder and of course guys to each cup of flour i use one level tablespoon of baking powder so there we have it and mix well you really want to get this baking powder incorporated properly into the flour so keep mixing mix 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 it up good nice and you will begin to actually feel the flour becoming very light and that's the baking powder and if the flour feels a bit heavy because sometimes the coolness does affect the flour you could always add in a little baking powder you're looking for that flour it must be begin to feel a little light now i'm going to throw in here approximately one cup and a third of water right so remember to three cups of flour you're looking at one and a third and you will notice that i kept back some of the water because sometimes that little extra becomes a little too sticky and as you could see here the dough is already getting very very sticky so it's a good thing i didn't pour in all that water all at once i do try however to throw in as much water as possible just one dump and even as um uncle dino told daddy you know train the majority of flour one time now it's sticky at this point so i'm gonna add some flour so i could be able to work with it a little more comfortably and we're working in the dough here still a bit sticky so i will definitely have to add in a little more flour and see if i could get my fingers cleaned up a bit 
And this is one of the reasons why many people don't like making sarauti or bread or anything because, you know, the flour feels really uncomfortable and the fingers, I know Michael Sambrano, this is one of your complaints about needing flour. So I'm using the flour here and I'm cleaning up my fingers a bit. I'm going to get my fingers back into that mixture and mix it up. Now, we don't want to be really playing with this dough too much because it does end up in a stiff kind of sara roti. So we just quickly just trying to bring all that flour in together. And one of the mistakes I have made in the past is playing too much with this dough. Also, if you're adding in the water too much of at a slow pace, it does interfere with the roti. So you want to get that majority of water in one time. Dough is still a bit sticky, so I'm spreading some flour to the bottom of the bowl. And back in there, some on the hands. And we're going to mix in that dough a bit there again. The idea is that we don't want the dough to be sticking onto our fingers and also the bowl. So we're going to keep adding flour until we get rid of that extra stickiness. And it's coming in nicely there, guys. So I wouldn't be needing this uh, right. So here it is. I'm forming the big ball, the big lawyer. And we're just going to cover this up. So I'm washing up the bygones at this point. A real funny looking bygone boy. That's kind of alien look to it, eh? Yeah. So is that always a good idea to wash your vegetables first? Sorry that you all can't hear the song of the running water. Right, so there we have it. And we are about to peel the aloo. What wrong with this um, potato peeler boy? All right, so we need to flip the blades here. Yeah, I think we have it there. Ah, uh, oh yeah. All right, so here we go. Nice. So I'm um, doing a little heal out here this morning. I want to say thanks to everybody that is commented and supported my videos, guys. I really appreciate it. There is no way I could keep up with answering all the comments, but I want you all to know I read your comments. I appreciate it very, very much. Nice. So the potato peeler working really, really good here, guys. Yes. And we peeling up these aloo here. So always make sure and clean up as you go. Now, I am going to be cutting up this potato pretty small because this bygone is going to cook really quickly and I don't want to be cooking for a very long time. I am not really looking for a burnt taste. So I'm going to cut up the aloo really small. So by the time the bygone is finished, the aloo is going to be soft. So I'm just going to finish chip up this potato and we will move on to the bygone next. So, of course, guys, we clean up as we go. And we are about to break down the aloo. And I will show you all how I'm going about it. Cut it down in half. And then another half. And we just going across. We want to be kind of thin because we want by the time the aloo is cooked. So is the bygone. The bygone is going to cook very quickly. So we need to break down this aloo as small as possible so that the both vegetables will finish cooking at the same time so once again thanking everybody for all the support i really do appreciate y'all i love reading the comments and don't forget tomorrow please god which is friday the 15th i have a premiere set and i know you guys are going to really really enjoy this video so please join us tomorrow please god at 8 p.m trinidad time for those of you all that are in the us and maybe canada it's going to be around 7 
And notice that these potatoes nowadays have this black spot in the center. So I'm just trimming that off and we continuing nicely. I really love Indian breakfast a lot, you know. Yes, love it, love it, love it with a pashad. And I started cooking about 15 minutes ago. Let's see how long this dinner and uh, this breakfast is actually going to take. So let me just finish chop up these potatoes. And next is the bygone on the agenda. At this point in time, I actually left the kitchen and I made my way to the front. We now pass our jockey shorts there on the line, head down to the side of the house. What happened is that we expecting a delivery. So dad wanted me to move the YBR, which would have been in the way of the men that would have been bringing the item for us. Oh, look at my baby now. I really love she too bad and all you. She take good care of me. Oh God, look at how I slap she. Yes, and I'm pushing out to the side. Oh, that's my baby girl. I really, really love this bike. I got this bike about five years ago, actually on my birthday, September the 21st. And dad is coming to check it out. And he says, well, you can leave it in front here, you know, just push it on the side. Yes, but anyway, yeah, you can bring it back here or do whatever you want. Yeah. Also, you're making some bike and choke off us. All right. Song and good. Right. Yes, yes, yes. I can't wait to eat that. Ooh. Good man. Yes, Captain. So I'm back here in the kitchen again. Time to deal with this bygan. Yeah, man. That'll come in useful for the plants. Of course, I'll throw that as compost. And let me begin to work on this bygan. Clean up as you go, man. That is the thing. That what we talking about, self. Right. Hey, hey, wash your hand. You know, touch up your motorbike there. Don't play your cooking food there and you wash your hand, you know. A nice bygan. Nice. So, I'm going to leave some of the skin. And let me just fix my camera right there. Nice. I want to go there. A nice, nice view. And we're going again. Knife going through that skin really nice. Ooh. Yeah, boy. That's a sharp knife. Ooh. Yes, I. And we're going on. We don't have to cut up the bag and very, very small. Remember, we cooking it with aloo. So it's going to get enough cooking time. So you don't really have to waste time on, you know, breaking this bag and long too, too small. It's going to cook. Trust me. And that knife is just gliding through that bygone. Really, really nice. Cut up the bygone and cut it up real nice. Look at Lasana as he peeled the bygone. Hey! <laughs> so guys, I'm having really fun. I'm actually lying down on the bed right now. And I'm trying to follow the video. Trying to remember what I might have been saying at the time. There was a bad spot there. Just cut it off. Nice. So we continue to break down this bygone. We're going good. Man, that fella could cook, boy. That fella could cook. That fella could cook, 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 cook. That fella could cook, boy. That fella could cook. That fella could cook, 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 cook. Now, bygone seeds really scratch my throat a lot. So, I reached a point here where there was a lot of bygone seeds and I was trying to take off as much as possible. So we have everything we need right in close proximity. We puran, we alu, we baigan, and let me hot up the stove to add some oil. 
now i really don't want this to be a very oily dish and that's why i am going to add the aloo before adding the the i'm going to add the aloo before adding the onion the garlic and the pimentos And you want to get some soup it's burn that's why i choose to use this flat wide pot and i'm just gonna sprinkle this over here and i'm gonna add in the bygan now And low to a medium heat and now is the perfect time to separate and make your lawyers always make sure that you sanitize your counters especially if you're going to utilize it the way I am doing here guys okay now this is an important part here in terms of you are not going to over need these lawyers now i'm going to do two roti this morning so this is going to be packaged and used later on and you're simply just going to tuck in the dough is very very soft Right, so just tuck in the mistake i used to make a long time is that i used to overdo this right you're trying to be as gentle as possible and that's it guys and just leave to rest and the one that is going in the refrigerator later on you could just give this a knee back and this is going to work out perfect whether i want to make some fry bakes or sara roti this afternoon or tomorrow morning so this is how we look in here just to leave this to rest a little and we put it in our container and it's a perfect time for a cleanup Where's it, Alan? You good? All right, get on, get on, get on, get on, Mr. Frogs. Down by the river. You always have to stay on top of your game when you're in a kitchen, eh? Like you know the bygone cooking right now. Um, the roti soaking. So. That was a perfect time to wash up your wells. So by the time you finish cook, please clean. What are we talking about? I have a little partner in the back. He's the um, owner of, of Frags. And um, he did a song a couple years ago called Timing is Everything. And it popped up on my news feed last night. So I could check him out. Polly Dog. Timing is Everything. You pop up last night, timing is everything. On no, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so I'll take it easy, man. Like so, guys, right behind me is a music artist. His name is Polly Dog. He has a song out called Timing is Everything. So you can check it out. Yeah, right? check out the dog. Check yeah. out 3 AM Studios. And so you don't know. But, um, what's the name, what's the name of the fella who was singing together with you? Who was singing with me on that song? Kilo. 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 Yeah. Kilo. Yeah, right, right, right. But I have a next, um, I have some videographers and photographers there. 
Right now, we'll be doing all the Trinity artist videos right now. Uh -huh. All we do, Young Bella and last week, we do Lady Lava video. Um, Rita Ben, that's the biggest song I know in the country. We do that, we do with pretty, we have videos with pretty class by a real artist. Right, right, right. right. So, right so how many songs you actually have out on YouTube? Yeah, right now, about three. So, time is everything. Time is everything. Always wanted. Always wanted. COVID freestyle. COVID freestyle. Yeah, so once I type up Polydog, they will see all the songs come up one time. Alright, guys. Uh, <laughs> two videos up, yeah. one song. But that song, I'm doing a video for that next year. Right. Because as I say, I'm doing with my boy and them now. So yeah. So official video for that dropping next year, please God. Right. And I have like two or three more songs dropping next year with video also. So this year was just really the, the work. Yeah. But next year is... Yeah. <laughs> Make up yourself and I hear man. You know about time it is everything. Time it is everything. Get the money. Time it is everything. Time it is everything. Hey. Secure the bag. <laughs> yeah man. Take it time brother. Yeah man. Have a blessed day. Right? Yeah man. Later. Yeah man. All right, so I'm now starting to smell it, burning a little, which means to see now is a good time to turn up. And the bygone is getting soft, but I lose sticking a little bit, which is good because I want to get a little brownness inside of here. So we're just going to give this one turn and we cover in again. Starting to come in real nice, smelling boss. And the salt now going on the mixing. So tell yourself what you're telling yourself. Correct is right. We are the perfect temperature here, guys. You see how that bygone beginning to melt in? Nice. Poor and looking good. As the onions, the garlic, and the pimento peppers. And we covering back down this. And we're going again for about our next. 10 minutes I'll see gosh look at that goodness in the pot goodness in the pot guys nice we are believers he come from the glory he come from the glorious kingdom he come from the glory he come from the glorious kingdom. Oh yes, believers. Oh yes, believers. He come from the glory. He come from the glorious kingdom. He come from the glory. Come from the glory. He come from the glorious kingdom. We come from the glory. We come from the glorious kingdom. Oh yes, believers. Hey, nice. Whose thing is your? Oh, wonder the um roll out flower on our board, you know. But you know, one of the things I will tell you guys with our outside kitchen is that it really is important to rinse out everything that you're going and use the following day because listen people just have rats inside of their houses cockroaches so you can imagine our outdoor kitchen don't care how much you really try your best to keep the place clean you can't help it all right i have seen rats in gardens where there's no food no cooking rats are everywhere so be aware all right you don't want to end up with something like um trichinosis no not trichinosis um trichinosis is a totally different thing you don't want to end up with oh gosh maybe somebody can help me Lep leprospirosis all right so so dangerous rat urine be careful guys especially if you go to the countryside and you're really going to have a meal by people and they have a kind of outdoor kitchen styling don't, don't be afraid to ask people hey could you just rinse my plate or could you rinse my cup for me before making the tea 
A, listen, is your health and is your wealth. All right, so we're going into the second turn here, guys. And this bygun looking like it is finished. Yeah, nice and soft. Right. Looking real good here. Real, real good. Real good, guys. Perfect. It's a little bit of flour. Charge it up, man. Charge it up, guys. And we have a low here. Spread it out like this, the fingers, if you wish. Get the initial shape. Press down. So you can actually start to form the circle. Without even using the rolling pin as yet, right? Or the bill now. Alright, and I push forward and I pull back and flip over. And hopefully the roti will swell. The roti dough is very, very soft. Going on to the tower. This tower is a bit small right and why this is working here we'll work on the other roti <laughs> now it has been in my experience that the first roti do ever come out as good as the second roti and I made a crucial mistake today, guys, which is I did not set up my cooler to receive the roti. So let me just go and get the cooler quickly and set up. Someone suggested in the comment section that I may be moving around the roti too much. So this first roti, I am not going to move it around too much. Right? Just make sure it doesn't stick. Right. And we're going to try this person's technique. So we're going to let it cook on, on, this is the first flip that I made. So it's cooking on the, on cook side, right? The, the dough is soft. So very promising. So we're going to make the second flip. And let's just leave it alone for a while. Usually, I would have pulled this tower and begin to seek it, but let's leave it for a little while and see what happens. All right, so I am seeing a slight swelling here. <clears throat> you know, Sarah is something that you have to keep experimenting with, guys, until you come up with a technique that works well for you. So I just want to take a little peep and see what kind of color we have going there. All right. So now I'm going to begin the seeking process, which is to pull out and push into the fire. All right. So let's go. 
and let me see what kind of results we get here. Wow, wow, very nice, great, to make joke. And this is where I have to learn now to be able to, to press, All right, so, press the roti, All right, yeah. Tell myself it could burn up on this side. No, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. So, guys, this came out really well. Really, really good, in my opinion. Sara roti for your money. And come by down the cooler, and I'll keep it nice and soft. So, we're going to put the second roti. Oh, gosh. Now, what will happen here? Because because i had this on the i mean i've ruled out this a little too fast because the dough is a bit soft but anyway we go in all right so the second roti is on it looks a bit like barbados all right so shouting out lisa's story hub from barbados i make a kind of little barbados here for your girl <laughs> so the tower was beginning to smoke a bit so uh lower it down and we go with our first flip and the technique seemed to work so the person who left the comment i ain't going to shift this or this one around too much usually my first route it goes swell so I am very elated and probably it has to do with that technique. Let me see if the second one goes well. Beginning to puff up here a bit if you see. It's beginning to puff here a bit. See what the color looks like. All right. All right, so we'll just leave that for about. Here yeah, coming nice, man. Here yeah, coming nice, baby. Oh, gosh, BT, you're so nice. I love you, you know. Look at how you, you're so soft to touch. I love you so much. Oh. All right, so let me flip it. Now, be careful when you're flipping. Sometimes if you bend the roti too much in my crack it and that may cause a leak from the time i get a crack all the air going to escape and your roti won't swell unless you had the technique where if i hold up here you press down right but it's kind of difficult all right so barbie that seems to be coming really really nice here guys and i tell myself it will swell a little tick on this side if you notice right a little tick on the ends but hopefully we should get as well now the reason why i don't really want to tick on the ends is because the worst thing is when you're eating a salad roti and you reach to the end and there's that raw piece of flour not really so nice and that's why they say a roti particularly to cook these thick edges so remember when you're belaying your roti is important especially on the perimeter of the roti to get it as thin as possible because the flour tends to pull back anyhow all right so i just want to give it one more little flip there press brown that side a little bit and i tell myself we're going to get a nice swell here right so i'm going to flip it here now and we're going to try to seek it and see if we get the results that we want all right so i'm gonna kind of move it fast i'll give it a little this one a little flip over all right all right hey things happening things happening things are happening guys things are happening it feels so good when you make this sara roti and this happen guys 
But don't get despondent. I have been trying for years to master this. So don't, don't get discouraged, all right? Keep trying, keep trying. Husbands, keep encouraging the wives. Right. Now, you could try a little flip there. Right? And then I flip back over. And sometimes that encourages some swelling to take place. All right, so we didn't get a whole complete 360, but that's good enough for me. And breakfast is finished, guys. So let me just get all this stuff inside. We have the roti inside of here, and we have the takari over there. And as you can see, Guys, the only thing left for me to do is just wash up these couple of things. And I have some bandana here. I bought some bandana. I've got to sell a good deal. I'll be cleaning up this after this video. Ooh, Dad? Breakfast is ready, eh? Nice. Well, good man. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yes. Yeah, man. Women, women up. Yes, yes, yes. She was elated to hear what you were doing. Uh -huh. Nice, man. Nice, you will come out real good, boy. I would imagine so. Really, really good. Louis, Louis. Come get it. You ready? Yeah. ready? Guys, look at the roti. Really good. Oh, yes. All right, so let's go and wash up some ways in the back there, Dad. Clean up that kitchen. Right. And I'll come back and check all. Right. Do you have breakfast with us? I may have mine a little later. Okay, thanks. But thank you very much, as brother. Yeah, you're welcome, and, my dad. And Irwin is delighted to hear that you were doing this yes, for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for us. Nice, nice. Because she was planning to get up and, you know, do something as a whole. Oh, well, I'm glad we see if she that work. And then recently was up with her, so we can have a role this. In her favor, you know? Nice, nice, nice. So, my boy, thank I'll you. come. I can check all you. Yeah, man, you do that. All right, love you. Same here, brother. Women, you have taken care of us right. for years, yeah. and now I want to take care of you. Right. I ain't put no pepper in it, eh? Right, that guy. That guy's enough there? Eh? Yeah, man. Good. My hand's sweet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> my hand's sweet like that, you know, man? I tell any people how you could really make boss up right, shot right, right, and all right, kind of thing. Right. Bygan and aloo. Uh -huh. Nice man. Thank you very much, Alsana. Alright, so we just go and bless the meal. Oh father, we thank the for today. And Thank thee for all that thou hast made permission for us to do. We pray at this time that thou will join in and bless it to our you spiritually and naturally. Join here to our soul and come to our help us. We wait upon thee for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Nice. Thank you very much. Yes, Anna. You Thank know, you. Uh -huh. it's a special breakfast. I was going to eat the salad. I'm going to eat the salad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You decide you're making a special breakfast for women. Uh -huh. But you know, women recently had a birthday. Daddy was telling me that. I'm so happy to see you. Yes. Boy. Yes, my woman. Yeah. What time when I came out, uh, I when I came out, I say dance, women you know, call me. Women was calling and inquiring about me every day, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, all this is women mm, children, you know. I suffer it. it, it it's often true. Yeah. All right. Well, nice. Would you like a pork, Owen? 
Hein? Ça se gratte. Non, on met, on met, on la constante. Il te le rôti, bande. Ça se gratte si es. Come back to yourself. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. When Don't open up. When women came to work with us, that's how how old were you? Hmm. I must be about six or seven. No, a year and ten months. A year and ten months. Wow. You mean you you wrote this off? It's yeah. off. Very good. Mm. Yeah, we take this. Nice, 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 nice. Tana and your rug is real, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you could remember how this boy is, I have you busy. Good diet food. Yes, nice. So dear. Yeah. Good diet. Food. I only put salt in it once. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can you remember any experience you had with Lasana? Huh? You remember any experience you had with Lasana as a little boy? <laughs> I forget about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you good. Know, it's when I think about it after you say, so Lasana was a little boy, and you know, boys. Boys are boys. Yeah. Boys will be boys. Uh huh. So guys, what what Urban is talking about and what mommy's asking her. When I was a little boy, I give this lady real trouble. But as you could see, she has a very forgiving spirit. <laughs> and she says that she has forgotten about that. Lasana was a little boy. And I thank you for that, Urban. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. This is sitting really good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad I'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So I am going to head to the back and just clean up some garlic. I want to do some grind seasoning. Mommy, you brought in the yam shadow right? Yeah, but I haven't washed it yet. All right, no, well, after. We're taking my time. Mm -hmm. So I'll enjoy the breakfast. Thank you. And much. yes, and I mean, tomorrow is Lyndon's birthday. So I'm really making this video also to tell Lyndon happy birthday. So you want to take the opportunity to tell Lyndon happy birthday? Happy birthday, Lyndon. I wish you a long life and all God blessing to you. Sorry I cannot be here for your birthday, but I wish you all the best. Nice. Hmm. All right. Yes. And I mean, we appreciate you and all that you have done for this family. And I really wake up this morning and I say I, I want to make a great breakfast for you. Right. Thank you very much, Miss Anna. <laughs> yes, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yes, right? And I'm healing out the whole Allen family, all the Americans down in Fifth Company, Maruga. Yeah. Right? Blessings. We good. But when my man they come and I come by the time, Shaman <coughs> and they were in place so small that it couldn't fit everybody, you know? Right. Okay. Yes. All right, darling. Well, enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. All right, and we all guys. Thank you for a lovely breakfast. You're welcome. We go on. <laughs>